40-year career as of self. And we just kind of wanted to pay homage to, to our northern roots, because Mark grew up in Southport, and as I say, I grew up in Blackpool, and, we, and obviously we did quite a few cover versions of Northern Soul. Obviously, Tainted Love is the very famous one. We also did What? We also did The Night, you know, and so it's, it's, the Northern Soul has always been a big part of, a big influence on us, and we've always loved that music. So it's like a way of sort of paying respect to it and saying, you know, thanks, in a way, it's like thanks to the North. Oh hi, my name's Pete Roberts. Uh, most people know me in Manchester, believe it or not. Um, people have asked me, what's my connection with the Twisted Wheel Club? Well, first of all, uh, I first went as a 14-year-old just before I left school. But when I went down the stairs into the wheel itself, I literally thought I'd sold my soul to the devil. Honestly, it, the buzz, the buzz from that alone. When you went to the wheel, it was, there was no alcohol. So we drank coke and danced all night to music. Well, I, I grew up in Blackpool and in, when I was a teenager, the main music that was played there was Northern Soul. I mean, and I used to go to the Blackpool Mecca, which is a big place for Northern Soul, where people like Ian Levine and Colin Curtis used to DJ. Just up the road was the Wigan Casino, um, which sadly, none of those venues are, are with us anymore. The Blackpool Mecca got demolished and the Wigan Casino, and it got demolished as well. When I got married and everything, I went into pubs and he always said, when I've had enough of pubs, I'm gonna try and reopen the Twisted Wheel, which I did, and I reopened the Twisted Wheel in 2000, so we're now in our 19th year. We do it from this club twice a month, the second Sunday, and the, the last Sunday of every month, and it's absolutely fantastic. We get hundreds in, we really, really do. You know, it's, so the legend lives on, you know. It's really, really good, you know, I have big name DJs there. And uh, it's great that we're so successful doing what we still do. So we, uh, the lead, apart from obviously the, band. the band, <laughs> yeah. um, the following us around, uh, it's like a story. I and mean, we're just down the stairs and happy couples, you know, and um, come to the club, watch the band, join in with everybody dancing. Yeah. You know, there was a lot of um, heavy industry and there were also like, coal mines, so there's a lot of very kind of tough, tough kind of work in factories and, and, and in the pits. It wasn't like London where a lot of the work people do tends to be in offices. And also I think because it's got that sort of happy sad thing, it's like, you know, the, the lyrics, a lot of those songs are very kind of heart-wrenching kind of soul songs, but they've got these very upbeat, very kind of danceable grooves to them. It's weird because my parents aren't into it at all. Like my dad's more into like new wave and stuff like that. My mum's into a bit of everything, which is quite unusual because most younger people who are into it obviously they got in through their parents. But um, my brother and me, we sort of like made our way through the subculture. So like dabbled with punk a bit, mod, that kind of thing. You know, experimented. And uh, he's a skinhead now, and he sort of like got into. Northern Soul and mod music, like that, and he sort of left, but I sort of like stuck with it. Um, and that was maybe when I was like 14, 15, I've just been into it ever since. But also, the, at the time, there was the Kung Fu thing with Bruce Lee, and a lot of those moves, I think, were based on, they were, it was like a mixture of kind of Kung Fu moves and, and James Brown moves, and that, that the whole dancing thing, I think, came really from that. And what about the dancing? Oh, we didn't have videos. No. We didn't know. We no. had no idea how James Brown danced. I've never danced like that in my life, ever. I've learned, I've had a crash course off Harriet. Uh, I've never, never been in an environment like that. We just created our own yeah, yeah. style. Yeah. And that's, so the Northern Soul dancing with the backdrops and everything. Yeah. We had a unique mod yeah. style of a dance yeah. because when you came into a cellar club in town, there was no room. So you were packed in, so you used to just dance like this. Dance on the spot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's blown everyone away today. It's been a fabulous day. You could have done it in London, and they said we didn't want to. We wanted to do it at the Twisted Wheel Club. The Twisted Wheel is mentioned in its lyrics, and yes, we could have done it anywhere, but we wanted to do it at the Twisted Wheel in Manchester. I think the audience we had was absolutely blown away with it. I can't wait to see the video. I think it's going to be fantastic.